Hi, I'm Susan LeBlanc, and this is Conversations with the Goodman School of Business. And my guest today is Stephen Simons. Welcome, Stephen. Cool, thank you for having me. Great. Uh, and Stephen is from our DECA group. Yep, Goodman DECA. Goodman DECA. So you were a competitor, and you're taking on the role of president? Competitor this year, president next year, Fantastic. Yes. So first of all, tell us a little bit about what DECA is. Uh, so DECA is an international organization, so they hold business case competitions in Canada as well as the United States at both the university and the high school level. So I got started in grade 11 in high school and continued on through on to Brock. Um, we're just one chapter of all many of the universities mm -hmm. here across Ontario, so we compete at a provincial competition with all the other Ontario universities. Every winter we take about 50 delegates and then from Based on those scores there, we send our top 10 to the international level, which we just got back from in Washington, D.C. Right. this year. So we send our top 10 to the international level to compete against not only more Canadian schools, but as well as um, many American schools as well. Right. So, and you say you just got back from the international? So we, just, we just got back uh, last week. And you did quite well, I understand. We had, yes. We had very good results. Yeah. We had uh, six out of our 10 delegates were top 10 finalists in their event. Wow. We had um, Justin Enns was our first year representative, mm -hmm. and he was able to win second overall in his category. So we're very excited about that, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing it all again next year. Wow, well, yeah, yeah. And you, you personally competed at the provincial level and at the international level? Yes, I competed both levels this yeah, year. Yeah. Um, yep, I placed uh, top three at provincials. Fortunately, not at no, ICBC. Not this year. You'll get them next, next year. Next year, I'll yeah, try it again. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So there's a lot of work that goes into this. Yes, there yeah. is. So what, what, take us through like a, a year. What, what sort of happens? So once we've selected our initial uh, roster, we host weekly training sessions. So we not only run through practice of how to give the presentation and what things to cover in your presentation, but we also have to make sure that we teach the business knowledge as well that's right, needed right. for those presentations. Um, we need to make sure that everyone has a very holistic understanding of their business terms and concepts because it doesn't matter what category you're competing in, whether you're going to compete in finance, you still need to understand marketing, human resources, and everything else as well. So it's very important for us that we make sure that everyone understands all the different fields of business and can use them effectively in their presentation. Mm -hmm. um, we host our internal competition every year. This, we held our first one actually this year. So we hold that as an ultimate practice, sort of a mock provincial competition for us, and then we can use those scores to decide who to send to the provincial competition, which I mentioned before, we take about 50 delegates. Mm -hmm. And then from there, like I said before, to uh, the International Career Development Conference in the United States every year. Right, so there's a lot of work that goes Lots into Lots of work, yes. But I would guess that it's all worth it. Uh, yes, it's great to see yeah. all the delegates develop and gain those skills that are needed for an effective presentation yeah. and to be an effective leader. It's great yeah. to see them come through. And so what would you say is, is the, the you know, number one thing that a student gets out of being involved with DECA? Um, I think they're going to really get great presentation, great case analysis skills, mm -hmm. which are both very important. Absolutely. Moving yeah. out of university, outside of the classroom as well. You need to know how to communicate your ideas effectively. So I think by having someone come in, come into DECA, then we can teach them how to give those presentations, to teach them how to communicate their ideas effectively, and they can become an effective leader later on outside right. of university as well. Yeah, and we, we see it over and over again, mm -hmm. how important presentation skills are. For sure. Yeah, especially if you're going to be in the business world. Oh, yes. So, yeah, so it's a, it's a fantastic group to get involved with. It really is. Yeah, to, and, and I'm ass hoping, assuming a lot of fun. Oh, lots of fun. Yeah. Of course, at the provincial and you know, going to Washington, D.C. for four days that we were gone for, you get to see a lot of really cool things that right. I probably wouldn't see otherwise. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure you make a lot of lot of friends. Lots of friends. It's a really good group of people, yeah. really cohesive group of people to yeah. get along with. Yeah, and so you are taking over the presidency I next am, year. Yes. So what does that mean for you now? Um, so <sighs> basically going to be in running everything now. Yeah. I, I have um, a really solid exec team. Mm -hmm. I think that we can do a lot of good things together, and I think we can see a lot of changes. Um, moving forward, and I think it's going to be really exciting to see how that impacts the chapter as a whole and mm -hmm. how we can move forward and become a more successful group altogether. 
Great. So a lot of work ahead of you. Lots of work ahead of me. Yeah, but I, but uh, and, and it will all be worth it because on top of all your great experience you'll have as a DECA member, you'll have all that great experience as being a leader yeah, well, of yes, the DECA. Yes, looking so, forward to it. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming by and all the best to you and the DECA team next year. I'm sure you're going to do as proud you do every year. Yes. So thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. Great. And thank you for tuning in and hopefully we'll talk to you soon.